Hi everybody, so this is nearing the end of the ninth session of breaking in this corset and I've been wearing this corset in probably a total of about 22 hours now. If I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday, it's because I'm actually filming this the same day. It's in the nighttime right now. Um, like I mentioned before, you are able to squeeze in two different sessions uh, of breaking in your corset on the same day as long as you have a few hours in between to um, let the corset rest and air out and let your body rest as well. So I've been wearing this particular corset a total of five hours a day, just broken down into two separate two and a half hour sessions, one in the morning and one in the evening. And because this is probably the longest that I've worn this corset in one day, I do feel a couple of differences. Um, because this corset is curvier than the other corset that I was wearing in the mid-afternoon today, um, I do feel a bit more of a stretch in my oblique area and I do feel a very slight um, aching in my back and around the sides, which means that I can feel the, the corset gently guiding my 12th rib um, forward. And it's, I mean, the, it doesn't affect my ribs all that much because this corset, compared to some of my other corsets, like the more conical, say, my wakated corsets, um, this one is a lot more accommodating of my rib cage. Um, so it's not quite as demanding to wear, but I do feel just that that little bit of the, the stretch in there. The feeling that I feel in my ribs at this point is similar to the feeling that you would get when you don't wear your retainer for a couple of weeks and then you pop it back into your mouth and you're just like, oh, that's not fun and it's probably not going to be fun to chew very hard, crunchy things tomorrow, but um, it's bearable and it will you know that it will subside after a couple of hours or something or the feeling might be similar to say the warm feeling that you get when you finish a workout and you're trying to stretch your hamstrings and um you don't want to get to the point of pain you don't want to rip your muscle or anything but it's a very similar feeling when you're wearing a corset for a longer amount of time than you're used to and you feel that stretch in your oblique area but it's important to know your body and to build up your hours very gradually and build up your reduction very gradually so that you can recognize the difference between something that might be a dull ache or something that might be a stretching sensation, um, but never to the point of discomfort where you're actually you know, fidgeting around or the point of pain where you just can't, can't take it anymore. You never want to get to that point. Um, and that is why it irks me so much when some people say that uh, coarsening has hurt because it tells me that they were going farther than their body was ready for and they were either trying to lace down too quickly or they were lacing down too much um, before their body was really used to it and like I had mentioned in one of my uh, physical effects videos about nerves and pain if you are a naturally very sensitive person if you have a low pain threshold then there is nobody forcing you to close your corset faster or to um, go quicker than you're ready for. If you put on your corset for the first time and you find that you can't even take half an inch reduction, that is perfectly fine. Just lace the corset extremely loosely on you so that it's just barely touching your skin, just until you get comfortable being in a, an erect posture, uh, until you can get used to the rigidity of the corset. And only once you get comfortable with that, then you can start reducing little by little, maybe a quarter of an inch at a time, but never force yourself to the point of discomfort. So here's what the corset looks like after the ninth wear and honestly I can't detect that much of a difference except maybe the fact that the seams are looking a little bit more wobbly when it's off my body. Um, one person was asking me how to prevent irritation caused by the knot at the bottom of the laces and I wanted to show that in this particular corset the laces are not actually knotted together at the bottom they actually have these beautiful um, gold aglets on them um, but each lace is actually just threaded through the last grommet here and it was knotted upon itself so that um, it can't fit through the grommet no matter how much tension you put on it so that's one way of doing it and if you don't want to have it on the inside then what you probably could do is just um, lace these underneath and have the aglets and the end of the laces actually come up through the outside of the corset and then just knot it there so that the knot is not against your skin it's on the outside away from your body so that could be one solution for you to um, 
prevent any sort of irritation from the knot kind of rubbing against your tailbone or anything like that. Um, another thing that I have tried on some of my other courses, especially the ones with paracord, um, instead of knotting it at the bottom, I actually use a heat tool to fuse the two um, ends of the lace together. But make sure that you're actually working with a synthetic lace there, like a polyester or a nylon, because if you try it with um, cotton, it's just going to char and burn and that won't be pleasant um, and make sure that you don't put too much heat on the uh, synthetic lace either because that can also just melt away and burn and create some really toxic fumes so you probably don't want that to happen but those are just two little solutions that can help you to prevent any sort of irritation on your tailbone from the knot at the end of the laces there and um, yeah I can't really see any differences between the 8th and the 9th wear all that much really. So uh, I'm just gonna end this video here and I will see you guys for the 10th break-in session later on. See you guys, bye.